If I'm going to take my instrument building to the next level, I need to be able to accurately measure the thickness of my soundboard. The thickness of the soundboard directly impacts the tonal quality and the resonance of that instrument. So, yeah, I could measure with my calipers here, but the problem is when you have a soundboard that is nine inches deep here, I can only measure in about an inch and a half. Now I could spend $200 on a thickness caliper from one of our instrument supply manufacturers, and I'm sure that's a great quality tool, but I don't have that kind of money. This is just a hobby. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to make my own thickness caliper. I picked up an inexpensive dial indicator. I've got some scrap plywood, so let's get to it. All right, so this piece of plywood's been laying around my shop for a while. It's seen better days, but over here, I've got nice usable material. I think I'm gonna be able to get everything I need from this section right here. Here's how I expect this thickness gauge to work. I'll have my dial indicator mounted to the piece of plywood. And then under that, I'm gonna have a lower jaw holding this pin. And I'm going to make it so that, that pin comes just barely in contact with the dial indicator. Now, as I slide a piece of wood in, in between the pin and the dial indicator, we'll get a measurement. As I pull it out, it comes back to zero, striking my pin. Now I need to be able to have this pin directly underneath the dial indicator and exactly at the right length. And that's why I'm going to use this bolt so that I can adjust the length and tighten it down right where I need it. I'm going to glue these two pieces together now, and then I'm going to cut this middle section out. That'll create the jaws so that I can feed the material through the mouth here. Check on this tomorrow. With my shape cut out, hopefully this makes a little bit more sense. It's basically a big U in which the soundboard can fit and it allows my dial indicator to come in contact with the pin. So now I just need to mount the dial indicator and the pin. Okay, so I have my pin mounted on a scrap piece of maple and I'm gonna use that to mount it at the end of my jaws. Once I have that in place, I can line up my dial indicator.
I had to make a little recess for the back of my dial indicator. So now all that's left to do is mount it on. So to use the calipers, all I have to do is lift it a little and then insert my board and I can get a measurement anywhere I need. Well that wraps it up for the thickness calipers. Really excited to put this to use. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear from you. Thanks for joining me.